We can't show you where we are or who lives behind this door because the family in this apartment in California is on the run from Immigration and Customs Enforcement. So if my mom's status here isn't, isn't safe, then we had to just pack everything up. Everything else just gets left behind. Off the grid since last year, say these two girls, both citizens born in the U.S., both in high school. ICE deported their father for illegally crossing the border. Their mother overstayed a tourist visa and is also undocumented. The girls feared their mother was next. What's happened since then when you had to pack up and leave? Um, we became homeless for five months. Um, we moved school, we went somewhere else because we had to leave the city. We were sleeping from house to house, anywhere we could find. Then they heard about an interfaith network of religious groups <laughs> pledging to resist Trump's immigration policy by hiding them in safe houses, even in spare rooms of congregates' homes. The network estimates dozens are being hidden at any one time. It connected the family to this Jewish woman. I grew up in a time when the Holocaust was not so far behind me. She signed for the apartment, a cover for the family she's protecting. Do you hear the echoes of history here? A hundred percent. I think there's a lot, strong feeling in the Jewish community, we cannot let this happen. It's our responsibility. We, it, what was done to us cannot happen to other people. This is technically aiding and abetting somebody who is here undocumented. I don't see it that way. I see it as taking a step to help someone who is in need, to help a family in need of support. Me sentí muy tranquila. It's just a big sigh of relief, says the girl's mother. What happens to me doesn't matter. Everything I'm doing here is for my girls. How would you describe the fear that you carry? I put a smile on my face every day. But deep down, I'm hurt. And I'm still hurting. I want to say a couple of things. Reverend Zach Hoover leads the Interfaith Network. 2,000 congregations of various faiths have been trained across the country the great majority here in California, where Reverend Hoover says the network of sanctuary and safe houses remains most active. The federal government might listen to all of this and say, you're violating the law. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna lie, that makes me very nervous. And there's a part of me that, you know, sitting here talking to you, I think, gosh, should I be having this conversation? But the truth is our folks are facing a much greater fear every day. You know, as we sit here in this church, I am just reminded that God that I worship and that guides my life is one who uh, does not always bless every human law. I am convicted that we are doing exactly what we should be doing. The girls have both been accepted to separate colleges in the fall, a family united for as long as they can be. We're going to do everything in our power to try to convince members of Congress not to support a deportation machine that's ripping families apart. You know, and there's a part of me that thinks that a different way is possible. Um, but most of the time I'm preparing for this to get worse.